Systematic error occurs when the values are found consistently high or consistently low. Yes. Can you explain that thing about experimental measurement uncertainties? You went so fast. We'll pick it up tomorrow. See ya. Lydia, can I see you for a moment? Sure. I'll meet you on the quad. Are you having difficulty with the class, Lydia? No, no, it's just that it's been many moons since high school chemistry in this class. But I'll get back in the groove. I'll be fine. Thanks. Okay. I'm going to the Gamma party tonight. What does Pauly say? Oh, he doesn't care. He'll be busy at his bachelor party. You know, I can't tell if you two are completely evolved or totally naive. <laughs> Mr. Morris says on the syllabus, zero tolerance for tardiness. But it took forever to walk from the gym with this brace. You just came from basketball practice. Um, Professor Matlin? Lydia, don't. I work at the sports clinic and actually practice as part of his therapy. And the brace does slow him down because it limits his flexion. Maybe just this once he could get a note from the doctor. All right, Carl, take a seat. But next time on the hour, I love having a career. <laughs> yeah, I got an 84. I got a 93. Huh, should have studied. <laughs> no, I didn't. You know what? She misread one of my answers. I'm going to go talk to her. Okay. I'll see you later. Excuse me. I, I think there's a mistake on number three here. That is an E. That looks like an F. No, it's definitely an E, and that would make my formula correct. Here. If you look at my E's, you can see that the bottom line is a little short. But if you look carefully, you can see that it's right. Are you a pre-law major? <laughs> no, but thanks. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt this time that five points isn't worth your integrity. What does that mean? It means only you really know whether it was an E or not. Well, that's unfair. That's like me saying only you really know whether you misread my E because I stuck up for Carl Morris yesterday. It's going to be a long semester, Miss DeLuca. I suggest you work on your handwriting. Have a nice day. Lydia. Oh, hey, Professor. Hi. Have you seen my husband? Yeah, he's over there by the filing cabinets. Thanks. Guess who? Oh. I hope this is my wife. <laughs> who else? This makes my day. Oh, you're so easy. You sound like it's a bad thing. Listen, I'm not going to be able to make it to the game tonight. That sucks. You sound like my students. Eloquence is contagious. What's up? Uh, I've got a committee meeting I can't miss. I have a pop quiz I haven't written yet. Can you find someone else to go? I'd rather just have the extra elbow room. I'll make it up to you. I'll remind you to. Oh. oh, hey, hey, can you hold that? Can you... Hey, Dr. Hackett, can I borrow your copy of the Merck manual? Sure, it's right here. What are you looking up? Um, mexilatin? Mexilatin. It's an antiarrhythmic used to regulate an erratic heartbeat. Erratic is in life-threatening? No, sometimes it's just caused by a minor electrical glitch. Sometimes it's more serious. It's my wife's present. Do you have a pair of scissors? Um. Hey. Interrupting anything? Nope. Oh, good. Hi, Lydia. Hi. Lydia's the hardest working student in my Chem 201 class. I'm not surprised. Um, why don't I put those supplies away for you? Thanks. Excuse me. Hey, sweetie. Hi. You look great. I love your idea of going to lunch. You running errands and me starving. Look, I just have to check my chemistry midterm grade, all right? I'm right on the border between a B and a B plus, so keep your fingers crossed. Okay, get in there. See you at the student union. Hey, is that Carson Daly over there? <laughs> Excuse me. Right, B plus, B plus, B plus, B plus, B plus. What? 
I got an A. Great, let's go celebrate with the turkey and rye. No, no, you don't understand. I must have worked out my average like 20 times. It's impossible. I mean, an A, what's an A for? Lydia, A is for uh, adultery. Now, can we go eat, please? Come on. Listen, I gotta go talk to Matt, Lynn. Just give me two minutes. Come on, hang out right here. I'll be right back. Professor Matlin? Oh, hi, Lydia. Come on in. Thanks. Um, I, I just checked my grade, and I saw that I got an A, but my quizzes average out to an 86, and I just didn't want to benefit from a um, mistake. I factor in a lot of things. Your class participation is excellent. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Thanks. I'll see you around. Lydia. Yeah? I know you saw me with the man the other night. That was none of my business. I mean, you don't know me very well, but I never butt into other people's lives. Eric and I have been having a rough time, so I made a fool out of myself. It was just a kiss. It'll never happen again. Although, again, none of my business, I'm happy to hear that. God, one mistake and you're there to see it. I could never get away with anything. No, me neither. I played with matches once when I was eight, and I burned down the shed with my Christmas presents in it. <laughs> hey, I thought I missed you. Hi, Lydia. Hey, I was just taking off. Yeah, sweetheart. Hey. When I get backed up, I promise to see some patients tonight. I'll be all right. No problem, honey. Okay. Dolly DeLuca for City Council. Hey, sports fans. Hi. Lydia, I didn't expect to see you. I didn't expect to see you either. Polly. They don't. Polly, Karen. Karen, hey. Polly. They nice don't, Karen. Do we know each other? Mm -hmm. Did you see the spread? Ready to start. Looks like we got the place to ourselves. It's good to see you, Lydia. Yeah, good to see you too, Professor Mel. Oh, call me Karen tonight. This is exciting. I can't wait to watch the game from up here. Fun. Oh, what a sack! Yeah. That quarterback didn't know I hit him. Yeah, nothing like a sneaky move. It's time out. I'm grabbing a cold one. Who wants it? I'll go grab it. I'll help. Yeah. Four beers coming up. What's with the face? I didn't know that she would be coming. So she's your teacher. Relax. It's not like she's busting out the books. I can't relax. Look, you're not the only one walking around with something to hide. What are you talking about? She's having an affair. I saw her. Yeah, go, baby, go. All the way, all the way. Eight three tackled by Peter. Flag on the play. It's defensive, right? No, offensive. I saw Walker grab a face mask. No way. Yeah, way. Personal foul, face mask, number 46, offense. 15-yard penalty, he keeps the down. Lydia, you know so much. Yeah, more than you'd imagine. So that touchdown doesn't count? No, um, face masking is cheating. I admire women who know a lot about sports. Me, I barely know the basics. The kick is good. Two points are better than none. And that's the end of the first half. Even 14. Seven. That is unbelievable. It's really great to see you outside the classroom. Save it, sister. Excuse me? I've already seen you outside the classroom. At the vacation inn. What, are you following me? <laughs> yeah, perfect. Like it's all my fault. You think I want your affair in my face? You know, all this hoity toity food's great. But I gotta get me some popcorn. Yeah, no, I spotted a snack bar around the corner. Yeah. Lydia, I can explain. You know, we tried that once, so please don't insult my intelligence. So much for not butting into other people's lives. Oh, you're talking to me about honesty? What exactly do you want from me? Nothing. 
You don't get it, do you? You don't owe me anything. You owe your husband something. He loves you and you're making a fool out of him. Why don't you just get your friggin' priorities straight? Shut up, Lydia. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Time out on the field. I'm being forced to prioritize, and I don't want you to hear from her. So here it goes. I'm in love with someone else. What? What? Hey, what am I missing? Hey, uh, Polly, why don't we step outside? I'm sorry, Eric. I want a divorce. Oh, jeez. 